On a day when presidential petitions came up for mentioning at the Supreme Court, the focus still remains on the highest court as it prepares to determine the country's first ever presidential election petition. In our continuing focus on Supreme Court judges who have until the 30th of this month to make a ruling on the landmark case, tonight we take a look at Justice Philip Tunoy. Tunoy, who has been a judge for 26 years, is one of the longest serving judges in the judiciary. From the High Court, Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court, Justice Philip Tunoi Kimwe Teach is a man who has risen through the ranks in the judiciary. After graduating from the University of East Africa in Dar es Salaam with a Bachelor of Law degree in 1970, he started off as an advocate in early 1971. Thereafter, he became a provincial state council for Nyanza and Western provinces. He served as state counsel until 1973 when he ventured into private practice. For 13 years, he focused on his job as an advocate, but his career in the bench was just about to begin. In 1987, Justice Tunoy was appointed judge of the High Court. He served as High Court judge for six years before he was elevated to the Court of Appeal, then the highest court in the land. He served as an appellate judge until his career in the judiciary got another boost when he was appointed judge of the Supreme Court in June 2011. But his appointment to the Supreme Court was not with a mere stroke of the pen as had been the case when he was picked as judge of the High Court and Court of Appeal. He was among 25 judges who were interviewed for the position of judge of the Supreme Court. And that was not the only test he passed. The second most senior judge of the Court of Appeal, he survived the vetting by the Judicial Service Commission, which vetted judges on their suitability to continue sitting in the Court of Appeal in line with the new constitution. Justice Tunoy, who also holds a Master of Arts in Philosophy from the University of Nairobi, is the Vice President of the East African Court of Justice. He has made rulings in all manner of cases, including one in the year 2000, in which, as an appeal court judge, he ordered a husband to take back his HIV-AIDS infected wife. The ruling was seen by HIV-AIDS activists as setting a good precedent. At the Supreme Court, Justice Tunoy has been part of several landmark rulings, including the verdict on the application of the gender role and the election date. But for the long-serving judge, the presidential election petition is like nothing he may have come across in his 26 years on the bench. The petition will provide a legal dilemma of its kind for him and other Supreme Court judges. Rita Tinina, KTN, Nairobi.